Hey, how's it going, David? My name is Devin. I just got off the phone with Eliza. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm going to really quickly show you three things I found that you can easily fix on your website so you can start bringing in more customers right away. And I know you're probably wondering why I would even make a video like this for you. I just found out a little while ago a lot of business owners don't have the time to learn how to make the internet bring them more customers. And the only thing stopping them from hiring somebody to do it for them is they don't know who is an expert and who isn't. So I found that by uh, making these free attack plans and just giving them away, a lot of business owners still end up calling me back and going, you know what, Devin, I like you. Can you just do this stuff for me? Whatever you want to do with this information is totally cool with me. My goal is just to educate as many business owners as I can. And I'm going to talk to you today about three things, content, backlinks, and citations. And by the way, you have a beautiful website. It's obviously professionally done. The logo is super cool. Um, this video auto plays. It might be a turn off for people, but up to you. I mean, it's, a, it's obviously amazing. having a video on a website is a really, really good thing because it keeps people on your page but the website's design is awesome what google cares mostly about is this stuff right here all this content everything you can read and whatever your images are saved as the reason being is just like a video that'll keep people on your page having a lot of content will keep people on your page too and so what google wants is 2,000 words of fresh content uh if this is like a google review yeah it's a google review so these these won't count but like all this up stuff right here you're going to want about 2,000 words of content on your home page and that's what the average website on the front page of Google has. So you're at 352. Um, so you're going to definitely want to write another about 1600 to 1700 words, I would say. It's free to do it. It would just take some time. But you also want to make sure that you include keywords in that content when you're writing it. So like, for example, uh, one of the keywords is like air conditioning born Texas. If somebody ever types this in, they're obviously looking for some help right away. So you want to rank number one for that. You're ranked uh, at the very bottom of the second page. And one of the reasons is if I go to your page and I look, you don't have that anywhere on your page. So like when you're writing that extra content, make sure you put in some keywords like that, which is things that people would search into Google. So you find, follow, uh, pop up for it. So that's my first tip. Now this goes hand in hand with my second tip, which is called backlinks. A backlink is when another website on the internet is linking to your website, driving traffic to your website. This is really important. Google's kind of like a popularity contest. So they want to see a bunch of other websites linking to you. Keep in mind though, they do want to see relevant links, which means they're going to give you a lot more power if you have other HVAC companies linking to you versus if you had like Pizza Hut linking to you because Google knows that you're not a pizza company. So the tool that I use to check this out is called Ahrefs. Uh, it's a paid tool. You don't have to pay for tools to do all this stuff. There's free tools for everything like, you know, checking people's backlinks. There's free tools for checking keywords. You just Google it. Um, I just pay for this because it consolidates everything together. It's really good for my industry. But here nor there, it shows that you got your very first link back in June of 2017. Um, and that's when you get your first referring domain, which just means a website is linking to you. So you currently have 17 websites linking to you. Now, the good news is if you want to beat Born RC or AC, they're really close to you. They have only five more websites. Now, obviously, I wouldn't say to just get five websites and match them. I mean, why not just blow them out of the water? And if these links are good enough to rank them, they're going to be good enough to rank you too. So what I would do is I would go visit all the websites that are linking to them and get those same links pointing back to you and whatever they had to do you're gonna have to do so like sometimes they may have had to hit the contact us button and shoot them an email requesting a link sometimes they may have had to create a profile and then put a link to their website in their profile and then you know very rare occasions you may have to pay for it and this is a small small fee but whatever they had to do you're gonna have to do as well and by following just those first two tips that's how you take this number one spot organically. This is a really great spot to be. There's three spots you can show up on the front page of Google. Right here, you can also show up in the ad section. Getting here just requires bidding higher than your competitors, and this is uh, Google guaranteed. You have to go through like a background check, but it's it's been told to have really good results. But really the best place you wanna show up is right here. It's the Google My Business or the local map pack section. This is the best place because one, having an account here is free, building is free, um, and this is where most traffic goes. So the only thing is it takes a little bit of time to do it. All you have to do is have more citations than your competitors. A citation is anywhere where your name, your address, and your phone number is listed in a directory. And a directory is just a website that allows you to list your business's information, such as like, you know, Yelp and Yellow Pages and City Star. And I think Facebook has a directory these days. And so what I would recommend for you is uh, to figure out what directory is born air conditioning is in. I'd put myself in those exact same directories and then add a bunch more on top. If they had 150 citations, you should be getting 250, if not 300. And that's all I've got for you, David. I hope you found this informative and helpful. I just try to keep it short and to the point. I know you're a very busy person and I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Very quick recap. You want 2000 words on this homepage. You want to put keywords inside of that content. 
You're also going to want to make sure that you, I, I would just copy all of his links or this person's links and just put them on yourself. You'd have a total of 39 at that point. And then, and that'll blow them out of the water and you can take this number one spot and then take this top spot right here. Just put your name, address and phone number and more directories in born air. And by following these three tips, this is how you become number one across all of Google. So what I recommend you do with this information is you implement it immediately because it does take time to do this stuff. And the sooner you start, the sooner you grow and you get a lot of leads and you start making a lot more money. If you want this stuff done for you so you can just continue running your business, you don't really want to deal with all the time it takes to do this, give me a call. My phone number is right down here. I'll see if I can help you, and if I can't, I'll at least point you in the right direction. But either way, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch your, watch this video. I look forward to hearing back from you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks, David. Bye.